I think all teachers who have ever have emailed a student know the frustration of waiting for a reply or, more importantly, a kid emailing you and then coming to class and saying, did you get my email? And saying, yes, I sent a reply back a couple minutes later. Did you get it? No, I didn't check is always the answer. So remind.com is, is the way you want to be. It's right here. And you simply go to teacher sign up, boom, you fill it in. You can use personal email or I use my school mail email with this if you got Google, uh, Google Apps for Education, you can use that or your regular Gmail account. Uh, once you're inside to set up a new class, you just go to add a new class, put a unique name. Uh, it has to be, at least for the class code, it has to be unique. Uh, meaning someone else hasn't done it so when you're done with the class you probably want to delete it i always do it something like ap comparative six that'd be six period ap comparative or ap comp six something that no one else would have and then when you're done you go to add and it creates a new class uh, to type a message you simply go here you have up to 140 characters you can also add a long url um, if it's too long, I usually go to something called tiny URL and just get a shortened one and then put it in. You can also send an attachment simply by finding the attachment. You can uh, schedule it exactly on the date and exactly at the time. The nice thing is if you screw up, maybe you want to go for 5 p.m., and you put it for 5 a.m. It says, Do you, don't you think this is too early or too late? I usually send it uh, pre-set it up so that it goes around the time they're at home, 6 p.m., something like that. You can see my class right here. If you go to schedule, it has the, the things that are coming. Um, also, if you want to send more than one class, you can just put your cursor there and say AP Economics. If you want to have an individual, maybe you just put an individual name in there and you can send it to an individual. If you send it to individuals, you need to send it to three or more. Uh, if you want to send it one-on-one, -on -one, you go to something called chat. You have to set up your office hours, which you do by going to chat settings once they're turned on then kids know they can one-on-one -on -one chat with you. As with all the messages, it is recorded so that you can prove that your conversations were above board, as were the children's. And also, they you never want to send conversations for anybody under 13. They even ask you. They prompt you on that. The widgets, to me, is kind of cool. It's a new thing. If you copy the widget, let's say that uh, I copied it and I put my online class and it's just HTML code if you have Edmodo or Blackboard and you can put it in Blackboard and it will update itself each time so you don't have to worry about doing it. That means the kids will receive a text but if they deleted it or forgot about it they can also receive it another way. To me this is the best way to reach the kids in their world in um, the last thing I should say is I always go here to add students and parents and I send uh, this to parents, email them and students because I know a lot of parents like to do it and they simply text this. It gives the instructions and as soon as they have added this stuff they get a text back and the text back asks for their names. It doesn't really matter what name you put in there. I usually ask the students to put a first initial and a last name or a parent to put Mr. or Mrs. and their last name. So I keep a record of who I have. Maybe if they switch a class, then I can delete them out. So that's it for Use and Remind. Hope you found this helpful.